oh my god just tossing a few american airmen and some gasoline yeah by the way again we have a new command on aaron oops bushnell we have a new command on twitch aaron bushnell okay to understand aaron bushnell's divine violence and that's the title uh of the first article by chris hedges that i linked i linked up two articles a video and a uh, tweet from max blumenthal if you want to understand what errol aaron bushnell's um extreme protest uh, was all about uh, i would highly recommend going through those four pieces of info and uh, you'll get a pretty good idea and i watched the full video uh, elder god linked it up for us on our uh, gilded server on censored video brutal to watch brutal to watch and i wrote back in 2012 that i wasn't going to post write about geopolitical articles anymore and stuff like this because i didn't want to uh, uh, be a witness or you know give the play-by-play -play, um, death and carnage that was that, that was about to come I didn't want to spend my energy documenting death and carnage because it was coming right that was 12 years ago i wrote that piece right um so i've stayed away from extremely brutal um video I, i've watched some video article not articles articles i read video uh pictures and stuff like this um but this one i watched it uh, uncensored because it was one of the i don't i don't condone I, I don't i don't support extreme protests like this uh, i wouldn't do it i think aaron bushnell's uh, personal life would have been better spent um, living a long life and fighting against tyranny but this one act he committed one act he committed and he gave a very short intro to it right just down and dirty right just just straight up laying it out this may paraphrasing he stated this may seem extreme to those who aren't aware of what's going on okay he implied he stated but consider what is happening right compared to what is happening to the people of gaza this was not extreme and he was a hundred percent correct on that okay and he ended it there and as chris sedges stated um committed his divine violence right uh it's on the same level i mean uh, apologies i'm not reading the chat but just get this point across right uh, for years now i've been uh, expressing uh, trying to explain to to people why julian assange is so important so important because he ha he is being crucified by centralized power for being a truth teller right and julian assange knew knew that the most powerful people and institutions and countries in the world would come after him because i've been following julian assange since wikileaks first came on online right i was like wow groundbreaking and i listened to julian assange many since the beginning and read his articles and stuff like this right at the beginning he said look and you can find this on online i should try to find the video and link it up for us for uh, as a command but he said look i have no desire to be a martyr he, he didn't he didn't right but he knew the most powerful people institutions countries in the world would come after him and they would try to kill him right some people would call that suicide right braver than i i would never do that some people say chicho aren't you afraid of what you're saying man compared to what julian assange is not man i'm just a little peon I, i'm not even i'm not even coming out directly stating what i uh, 
how brutal the situation is right now really I'm implying a lot of things but I'm not straight out stating it because I'm not brave enough right Julian Assange was brave enough and he knew he knew they were gonna come after him right and I've been comparing his act and what is being done to him which is crucifying Julian Assange to what happened to Christ right because he was a truth teller Jesus Christ was a truth teller so I've been associating the uh, the crucifying of Julian Assange right to the crucifying of Christ of Jesus Christ some people understand what that means right because Robert Anton Wilson has written about it murder and uh, Wilhelm Reich wrote about it uh, the murder of Christ uh, um, what's the other book we're reading the William Reich in hell with Robert Anton Wilson. great thinkers have associated truth tellers to what happened to Jesus Christ right he because Jesus Christ really knew that they were gonna kill him right so some people would say Jesus Christ committed murder oh sacrilege right right if you interpret that in a certain way if you look at what's happening to him people will say look they're gonna come and kill you leave flee escape stop talking stop telling the truth right they're going to kill you right um, the person doesn't because they have integrity right okay. some people could say well he he was a cause of his own death right Jesus Christ seriously he could have ran away he could have walked away he could have just denied he could have just said no right taken back his words right Julian Assange could have revealed his sources right Aaron Bushnell he was a truth teller and his truth how long did he speak for before he committed that act how long it, he he walked like a block across the street how long did that take oh the the, the the video is is timeless right you lose yourself in in how long that message took for him to say like really I, I couldn't tell you if it was a five minute walk or a one minute walk or the shortest shortest truth teller that I know of right Julian Assange has released tens of thousands of documents and never had to take back anything that WikiLeaks has released right correct anything that WikiLeaks has released right Jesus Christ 33 years right let's say he was active since he was a teenager puberty right 20 years right Muhammad Ali documentary I mentioned this before there was a documentary where they uh, someone they interviewed called Muhammad Ali a prophet because he was a truth teller how long was Muhammad Ali a truth teller a couple of decades how long with was Aaron Bushnell a truth teller to the world to his friends maybe a long time and from what I've seen a long time but how long was your truth teller to the world a total of two minutes a minute but it wasn't even five minutes truth teller for two minutes right but the act he committed we live on throughout history it, it it was a nail in the Empire's coffin right it was the nail a nail in the Zionist agenda right incredible 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 really I don't I don't I think um, it's best to live to fight another day that's my personal opinion uh, I'm not courageous enough to do what Julian Assange did or Aaron Bush Bush now that right uh, but you cannot deny his impact his impact is greater than the impact of some of the most profound 
philosophers and um, truth tellers and those who seek justice in history really incredible incredible right incredible um, so I'm not sure how I got into that but uh, I thought I thought I think I read elder God's comment uh, yeah elder God got me into it Elder God you get me going down dark uh, that's what it was the elder God's comment just toss in a few American airmen and some gasoline right profound 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 right. Uh, slick Mick, many of us uh, like to ask ourselves quote what oh yeah this is uh, what Aaron Bushnell wrote in his on a social media post quote what many of us so this is this was what he wrote many of us like to ask ourselves quote what would I do if I was alive during slavery or the Jim Crow South or apartheid what would I do if my country was committing genocide end quote the answer is you're doing it right you're doing it right now Aaron Bushnell 2024 right that quote will live forever as long as human beings are around right okay I love you Mumu salutations welcome to our live stream Da, 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 da. the way Aaron uh, stood despite yeah he stood firm and kept shouting free Palestine until his body just couldn't take it anymore unbelievable unbelievable if if you I watched that video twice okay that's rare for me to watch such brutal things even once and I watched it twice the uncensored version and when he did a turn he have you ever have you ever lifted weights to a level where your legs are shaking right you just just shaking right when he turned his legs were bent and he was shaking and still yelling free Palestine 